All right, back out on the line this morning. Pretty cool day, about 38 degrees. Got a pretty decent wind coming out of the north, about five miles per hour. Gusts up to eight. Got a new acquisition here. This is the uh, Dynam uh, Grand Cruiser, like a Cessna 310, I believe. I uh, had one of these once before. I had swapped for it and then uh, turned around and retraded it. Uh, gave it and some cash for a, a, a Pulse 60 and I missed it a lot and there's a guy out here at the field Paul he's got one that he's done a lot of mods to it and it's a really great plane I tried getting Paul to sell me his but uh, he likes it a lot too so I went ahead and picked this up and, uh, and looking forward to uh, giving it a try this will be the maiden flight on it all right Be coming out on uh, mid rates on the elevator, low on the ailerons, and high on the rudder. Flying out on a roaring top 2200 three cell battery. No flaps, on, it does have flaps on it, but I'm not going to use them. It's got enough wind today, I don't think we'll need it. All right, here's our rollout. Gear up. The last one I had of these, of this model, it really flew well. Put a little trim in this one. Sorry about that. I know it's probably hard to see. Just trying to get a feel for it and get it dialed in. All right, that's much better. You have to get a little more expo in on the elevator. Try pass down the line here in front of us. One more here in front of us. Being a twin motor flying on a three cell, it's definitely not a speed demon. There's a uh, full throttle pass. Get a feel for the flaps here. She definitely balloons up high with flaps. Of course, I've got a little bit of speed I'm carrying in on it. Yeah, she definitely balloons. It looks like one of the gears didn't deploy, which is not a good thing. Because this is not going to end well if we have to belly land it. Looks like the nose gear is the only one deploying consistently. I should have known that on this plane. I should have never raised them because Dynam has some really, they, they really have issues with their landing gears, put it that way. All right, we're going to have to do a mayday, mayday, mayday landing. I'm going to try to high alpha this and uh, as the props will drag the ground when it comes through. All 
All right, hopefully that did not break the props. All right, looks like we're okay on that. Kill the motor. Let's come over here to the stand, get the battery unplugged, and let's discuss this a minute. All right, here we go deploying the gear again. Yep, nose gear and the uh, left main. Now just the nose gear. All right, let's come back over here to the bench. Dynam has made some improvements here of late. For example, this plane, along with the Dynam Turbojet, now ships with flaps pre-installed, which is a good thing. And they list their uh, retracts as being upgraded. Now that may be the case, they may be upgraded, but they're still very, very inferior. My experience with these Dynam retracts is that if the temperature is below 50 degrees you just can't get reliable uh, deployment with them. They're just uh, um, they got problems. Somebody has said on one of the YouTube channels that they had thicker grease in them uh, on the gears. I don't know. I have not taken their uh, retracts apart but I can tell you that um, just like my 550 Citation, uh, the twin jet one, uh, this will be relegated to days above 50 degrees, which is a shame because it's a, a nice presence in the sky. Got a nice big uh, um, wingspan on it. And uh, it, it's just unfortunate on those retracts. I guess you could swap them out with some E-flights or something like that, but uh, you know, you shouldn't have to do that. When you buy an airplane, you have a reasonable expectation that if it comes with retracts, the retract should work. Uh, now I get it if you know you're not going to get them to work in you know 25 below, below zero, but come on, it's 38 degrees outside. They should be working with no problems at all. FMS works, E-flight works, free wing works, Dynam doesn't work. So it just tells you they got a little problem with their engineering there on those retracts. They're trying to shave off and and uh, save a few bucks. And uh, when will these companies learn that us pilots want a product that works? We don't want to have to buy it and then upgrade on top of it. I'd much rather buy it and turn key, take it out of the box, put it together, and have a, a good experience with it. You're not going to get that with Dynam product. Uh, not until uh, they do something about their retracts. Like I said, they've they've come a long ways. Um, the original version of this didn't have retracts at all. Um, the flaps weren't installed on it, and uh, they're not easy to put in on this um, a particular one, along with the Citation 550. This was a rather easy build, I can say that. The wing uh, bolts on, the tail section bolts on. You do got to glue on your two wing tanks. Um, I think it'd be better if they would have pre-molded those in, but eh, not a big deal. Um, I used uh, the contact cement that comes with it uh, in order to get them on there and get them centered up. Uh, it is kind of uh, laborsome. You got to do one uh, one night and the other one the next night uh, unless you're going to put cellophane around it and try to clamp them on and everything but uh, all right well that's my rant on this Dynam uh, Grand Cruiser. It's a good flying plane but the, again the retracts leave something to be desired also I noticed that the um, uh, like most uh, cheap 
uh, product the blades did not come pre-balanced on this it's got pretty good wobble on both of them especially on the uh, on the left one over here all right thanks for watching